Hey guys, what's going on? Darren Addison at thepeterpot.com. Darren Addison at thepeterpot.com. And you're looking at our self-growing planters. They grow your food for you with no human intervention. This one planter alone grew 27 tomatoes. This one planter alone grew stalks of celery that were once two and a half feet long. This one planter at the same time grew flowers that went out all over the place, nasturtium, that were completely edible. Everything on the planter was completely edible. Everything has gone through its seasons and the celery is here and is what's left. So it's been growing my celery by itself with no human intervention. These planters are amazing. What I'm gonna do now, and I wanna groom some of this back because I wanna do some close up photos and um, and make it look presentable for the wider audience who's really afraid of gardening. And so I want them to be comfortable about their gardening experience. I'm going to tell you something. This is beautiful. I cannot begin to tell you how beautiful this is. And I'll bring the uh, camera down. We'll take a closer look at inspection at it. But for right now, let's clean it up and get it all cleaned up. Now, I already cleaned it up once uh, with a lot of the tomatoes that were, uh, the vines that were left inside the planter. So this is really coming back and doing it uh, another time. So these plants' root systems are still very much embedded, the nasturtiums and the tomatoes. And I'm not trying to take them out because if they die, they'll, they'll have nutrition for the, uh, for next year's crop. I'll just either mix the soil up, depending upon what I'm doing, or just put soil on top of this and let it continue to grow. Mint does that really well. All you have to do is continue to add soil on top of your mint and it will take off and grow. All right, so with that being said, um, I'm hoping not to cut anything really great yet. You know, I'm not a really great uh, person who comes out and tends to the garden very much. I mean, I may, this plant, I think I must have trimmed this one about, uh, maybe just once, I trim once, and I'll just come out and do it again. But I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. There's some air again inside of there. You see the new growth that's coming. What's so amazing about the plant is that uh, even in the midst of age taking place and where death is there's life taking place in the same in the same arena and even this one right here i'm going to cut it off i want you to see that this one is compromised it's probably hard to zoom in on that let me let me just take a walk around the planet with you you can take a look at it and see what it looks like but this is absolutely stunning i want you to be a part of this is extremely, extremely stunning. That is amazing. Natural food. Natural, natural, natural food. I don't care how you cut it. It's amazing. It really is amazing. It's amazing. It truly is amazing. And so you get to have that during the wintertime. I don't want you to just think that uh, food grows in the summertime. That, that is the biggest, oh my gosh, um, challenge that we have to deal with. Food grows year-round. You simply have to find the food that grows in your region that you want to eat. And Torpedo Pot will do the rest. Torpedo Pot will do the rest. So give it an opportunity to do its job. And so Peter Pot will do the rest. Man, boy, I tell you. Now, what I should do is go add some more soil to this. It'd be great, um, but I'm not. <laughs> I've only replaced this soil maybe once, no more than twice. Maybe once in the history of this year, I just took it and I've gotten 27 tomatoes. I've grown celery that's two, two and a half feet tall. I've grown nasturtium coming out of this. And so we know how much soil it takes to grow your food. Oh, trust me, Torpedo Pot is good at what we do. You're gonna love us. 
and some ideas that we have for growing food in the inner cities, creating new industries across the United States that uh, has never been done before. So I'm going to take this one that is straggly, that was hanging off, and I'm going to cut it off. Just cut it cut completely off. But I want you to see how beautiful this is. This is why natural food is so important. Natural food is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. All right, so obviously I'm gonna take this in. I've gotta chew down on this and I'm gonna give this one a better opportunity to survive. And these young shoots that are here are just unbelievable. 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 Oh my goodness. Let me take this off one more time. Let's just see the young shoots. I know some of you, I might have just did the big ones, and I apologize, but uh, let's see what we can do here. I want to get these young ones. So, let's just, can I get this right in here? Does that make any sense right there? Look at those young shoots. Aren't they beautiful? Man, they are beautiful. They're gorgeous. They're healthy. And let me tell you something. They're also very, very nutritious. Extremely nutritious. I love the young shoots. The only reason why I don't go for the young shoots is because I get a lot of flavor from the older shoots and there's no sense in me grabbing them. Like if, but if I wanted them raw and I just want to eat it, come out to the young shoots and I'll eat it. But they're beautiful. They're going to continue to grow. Darren Radisson at torpedopot.com. Can you tell I like a little bit what I do? God bless you. You guys have a wonderful holiday. Not because I need to sell you anything, but be conscious of your food supply. You want a food supply that's constantly growing on the side. Your grains and everything else, you know, oodles and noodles, all those are great. I like eating noodles on the side. And I mix it with a lot of the vegetables. So I throw the bad with the good or the whatever you want to call it, the grains and the proteins or whatever you want to call it. But um, when I mix them together, it creates such a stunning meal that you are healthy. Your body recovers. Okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.